uh, 3D printers. These are used to produce working solid objects. They are primarily based on inkjet and laser printer technology. The solid object is built up layer by layer using materials such as powdered resin, powdered metal, paper, or ceramic. Uh, nowadays, I have heard that uh, in, in the pandemic of uh, COVID-19, coronavirus season, they are now trying to produce ventilators using these 3D printers on uh, uh, non-commercial levels by themselves. Let's see, let's pray for them. Various types of 3D printers exist. They range from the size of microwave oven up to the size of a small car. I have heard that in China they are printing a home in one single day using these 3D printers. But over there the ink is uh, actually the cement. 3D printers use uh, additive manufacturing. The object is to build up layer by layer. This is in con uh, contrast to the more traditional method of subtractive manufacturing, removal of material to make the object. For example, making a statue using a 3D printer would involve building it up layer by layer using powdered stone uh, until the final object was formed. The subtractive method would involve carving the statue out of solid stone or wood until the final item was produced. Uh, there is a direct 3D printing that uses inkjet technology. A print head can move left to right as a normal printer. However, the print head can also move up and down to build the layer of an object. Uh, binder 3D printing is similar to direct 3D printing. However, this method uses two passes for each of the layers. The first pass sprays dry powder and then on the second pass a binder, a type of uh, maybe glue, is sprayed to form a solid layer. A newer technologies uses laser and ultraviolet light to harden liquid polymers. This further increases the diversity of product which can be made. So that is uh, it for 3D printers. Thank you.